What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic, and today's project, our beautiful uh, Bolt Cape Mark IV. Not so quite so beautiful at the moment, but it will be, hopefully, when it is done. Now, there are a few cool little things I want to show you about this car before we jump in. You can obviously see it is absolutely slammed to the ground, and these walls are... Walls? These wheels are huge. Walls? I have no idea why I tried to say walls. These wheels are absolutely huge. We do have a little bit of an issue with the exhaust showing up through the body there, which is a bit of a shame. It will be covered a little bit once we throw a back seat in there. I believe that should be missing. Yep, that is missing. Just wanted to double check that. So it should cover up a little bit when we throw that in there, but it is still poking through just a little bit. There is a reason for that. I struggled very much trying to make this happen, and that was getting the exhaust to come through these tail light holes here. Yes, you can see it. This is a full custom exhaust. They will be poking out through there. They are missing at the moment, but that's fine because I'm going to replace them with performance parts to get performance chrome it's sticking up through it. You can see it runs all the way up through there and then it comes up from at the bottom of the car. It's going to this mode, comes up, slides through and then slides out where the lights should be. So them lights are obviously removed for this one. Looking pretty sweet. Just a sick little feature I'd added just for a bit of fun and a good measure. We have got the 6P engine in there today. Just have a look at that. There it is. I've done that because this one colours really well, but I might change it. Um, and you'll see why in just a little while. I might actually swap it for the two-carb overhead valve, which is the same as the 6P, uh, except it's the normal base colour of the engine instead of this one. We'll find out about that a little bit later on. I am still undecided because I haven't done the engine. The only thing I've made for this car in my little test server is the livery i just had to go and check that the livery fitted on the car and everything like that so this is what we're going to be doing today hopefully it's going to come out looking awesome or we're going to sort out that engine or maybe swap it i don't know yet we're going to make it quite powerful it's going to look quite cool when it's finished i hope but let's get it over to the car wash and let's get this one started here we go then at the car wash we can already see it's blue and let's just get this one cleaned up Get it back on the lift and get everything ripped out. It is looking pretty cool. It's not a bad blue, but it's not what we're sticking with today. I have spent probably the best part of a week and a half making a custom livery for this. There's no way I'm keeping it blue, but there we go. Let's get it back on the lift and let's get that engine ripped out. First things first, let's check for that oil pan. It is there, so we do need to get that oil drained out of this quite old car. Let's get you drained. That is very dirty. Not very much of it, though, so let's get you put away. Over you go. Let's get in and rip the, what's left of this exhaust out. Get that gearbox and starter out as well. And we are missing a drive shaft, so we do need to replace that. I'm actually glad it's not in because, I'll be honest, it doesn't match up perfectly well. Shall we see that? Otherwise, you would have seen it through the floor. I just thought I'd show you guys. That's about as close as I could get it, so it was still touching. But it is a little bit messed up. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's get this gearbox out. Out you come, and we will rip out all of this exhaust while we're here as well. Because I'm pretty confident I need that piece and that piece out. So pull the engine out, so we'll just get these done. Out you come, and we might as well just get it all out. If those of you have noticed, this exhaust is in a backwards. That should be the tips um, going out. That way I can get it. I got it to fit with all that cool, crazy exhaust stuff I was doing. So that's all you ripped out. Nice. Let's just go and get this fuel pump out of here as well. And we might as well get the fuel tank while we're here. Cool. Let's get it back on the ground. And let's get that 6P engine ripped out and decide whether we are going to swap it or not. I am still not fully decided yet. So let's just get it ripped out for the moment. Out you come. I cannot wait for this all to come together. Awesome. Let's see what's going on in the engine bay. Pretty sweet. We've got one liquid reservoir, two liquid reservoirs, three liquid reservoirs, a battery a radiator, a large intercooler, and the fuse box just there. Are we missing anything? We are on the suspension, but we'll come to that one in a bit. Doesn't actually look like it. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to get on and get these liquids drained here. So we go into additional tools, the drain tool. I'll see you in a bit. That's all of the engine bay drained. So I'm just going to go on and rip all of this out. I am trying to shorten my videos. They are becoming a little bit long at the moment. Is that everything? Yes. So I'll get this fuse box ripped out. We'll get it all out. I won't sit and go through that now. We'll get the car up in the air and then we'll get all of the suspension checked out before we go. In fact, you know what? Let's just do it now. Let's get these wheels off. Off you come. You probably, maybe won't be the rims we stick with. I've not decided on that yet. Well, we already know this side is pretty complete because the wheel was on. We've got the bearing. We've got the hubcap. We've got the outer and the inner tie rod along with that sway bar end link. It is a double wishbone at single shock. 
go over to the other side so we can see we are missing bushings all of them by the looks of that yeah all of the rubber bushings we're missing the upper suspension arm we are missing the actual shock the end link we've got the inner and outer tie rod we've got the hubcap uh we don't have the hubcap sorry we've got the bearing we don't have the hubcap or a brake caliper or a brake pad so we are missing quite a bit there let's go down the back if i could get down there it is quite a long car we'll have to do it this way let's go down here let's just switch over to the other side and we'll take this wheel off out you come mr rusty bolt try again there we go out you go let's have a look so this side should be pretty complete we've got a solid axle control arm the full spring set up with the shock and then the u-bolts and the plate that side's all complete looking great in there pretty sweet let's check the other side we've got all of that we've got all the bolts what are we missing it doesn't look like we're missing anything but the wheel no that's it at the back so we are just missing the wheel so i'm going to get all of this stripped then we're going to go check out that beautiful 6p engine i'll see you in the engine room in just a bit that's everything stripped out of the bolt cape let's just get that battery on charge and go check out this beautiful engine well at least i'm hoping it's going to be see i intend to use metallic colors today and I don't think this takes metallic colours very well. But we will see a bit later on. So I may be swapping this out. I'm not going to repair the other engine. right. Well, I'm not going to repair this engine right now. In case I do want to swap it out. So we're going to have to see what I do with it later on. But let's just get it all stripped down. This is a very cool engine. It is one of my favourites. I do really like this engine. So let's get all of this stuff off. Lots of little arms supporting things that can all be painted and look awesome in colour. And being a coloured engine, this does take colour very well. Just sadly, as far as I can tell, not quite the metallic colours. But we will see a bit later on how we get on with this. There's a lot to come off of this engine. And I am trying, to, as I said, to keep my videos a little bit shorter. So I don't necessarily want to keep you guys too long here. Lots of little fiddly bits to get off. Let's just get all of these engine parts out. Come on, hurry up. If it sits, starts taking too long, I will skip over a few bits. I don't really intend to. I like sort of keeping it around. Let's just get up the top and see what we've got going on before we get to these engine heads. So obviously you've got that lovely filter on the top there, the filter cover, and then we've got the triple carburettors. One of my favourites, I do like the triple carburettors on these. All of these can be changed for performance parts, which are pretty sweet. Out you come, all you carbs. And obviously one of the things I think that's coming with the drag DLC is carburettor tuning. So these engines here are going to get a lot of tuning with the carburettors in there. Hopefully, let's get these heads off. Let's get these exhausts off because there's a little fiddly, few little fiddly bits just underneath here, which I'll show you right now. So you've got the rocker arms, which is three bolts, nice and nimble. They're not individual rocker arms, but you do have individual valve push rods. So we do need to get all of them out along with all of the spark plugs out and same on the other side. So I'll just get that done and I'll meet you back here in just a few moments. See you in a bit. That's all the valve push rods out. Let's get the intake manifold out. I've also called, pulled out all of the spark plugs as well. And let's just see how bad these are to get out. Actually, not that bad at all. A nice few simple small bolts there. Quite easy. So out you come as well. And that should be pretty much it for the top end. We can grab that camshaft out here. Let's get it rotated and let's see what we've got underneath of this beautiful little engine. Hasn't taken too long at all. Been quite simple, really. It's a V8, so we all know what's going on. And we've got eight pistons, four on either side, and then obviously all the rod caps. Three camshaft bearings in this one, or crankshaft bearings, should I say. I always get that wrong. And then all of the rod caps, plus the gearbox setup or the clutch setup. So let's get all of that out. I'm going to get all of the suspension stuff repaired. I am going to leave all the engine stuff for a minute because I don't know which engine I'm using yet. Bit weird, I know, but I'm going to finish this. And then we're going to go get that body stripped. We're ready to go over to the paint shop so you can check out the beautiful livery I have made for the bolt cape. That's all the suspension bought and repaired. I still haven't touched that engine, though. But we do have to strip this body down. So let's just crack on with it. Uh, not a lot here at the front end. Just that hood and the headlights. Uh, no doors, no fenders, no nothing, no taillights, uh, no trunk. Well, obviously, no taillights. There are some taillights in the actual trunk. Rear bumper off there. Is that really it? Or oh, windscreen? Did I did I miss any other windows? Rear window. Let's have a look what we've got around here. That's it. Let's get the interior out. And then we will double check, see if I have got everything. That surely can't be it, though, really. I'm a bit shocked if it is. Let's have a look. 1% uh, on this screen. Ah, front right fender. How did I miss that? Right there. An obvious piece right in my face. How did I miss it? Never mind. Let's just double check it. That is everything out now. 
wrong screen down to one percent so let's get this a bodywork repaired we need to get this frame sorted let's move the welder over let's have a look um oh we didn't check how much i paid for the car i already know i just never bothered to show you i paid sixteen thousand six hundred and eighty two and i was two thousand four hundred and one away from profit but that being said i reckon the car's in bad enough condition that this is going to be fifteen hundred twelve hundred not far off. I'm sort of getting back into it, but I'm still not very good at it. I'd still miss every time. Let's just check out the shop. There isn't much. Everything in here for it is obviously the base parts. There isn't a lot there. And then if you go to the body tuning shop, you've got the same car. You've got the alternate hood, uh, blacked out bumpers, blacked out lights. Now, I don't need some of the tail lights. I need the trunk tail lights, but not the normal tail lights because I have deleted them because my exhaust now runs through them. So I don't think I need to buy any of this. I'll get the alternate headlights. I'm probably not going to go with the alternate bumpers today. I need the alternate hood. But we'll see where we end up. I've got to get some bits repaired. And then next up, we'll get it all back together before we head over to the paint shop. I'll see you in a bit. Got everything repaired or bought. And when I say everything repaired, I mean only the hood. That was the only part I managed to repair. Everything else I had to buy new. So let's just start throwing it all back on. I did go with the chrome bumpers, not the alternative ones, but I did go for the alternative headlights, quite liking them, just a little bit darker. We might swap them out, I'm not sure. We'll see it later on, depends on how we get on with the rest of this car. Let's just start getting it all back in. Let's get these mirrors on. Lovely chrome details. I'm not normally a big fan of chrome, but this one I think does deserve it. Let's get that trunk in, rear bumper. Now, you see, I have got lights. They are on the trunk there, looking pretty sweet. And not like I deleted the lights entirely. Oh, my God. I just hit the wrong window in. Did I not buy the correct window there? No, I did. Okay, it looked like it said the damaged one. Not paying attention. I don't know what is going on there. Maybe it's my eyes being funny. I do have quite bad sunburn. I am in a bit of a sorry state. After my trip to the beach on Sunday with the family, it was not the best idea. That looks like all the bodywork on. Let's get the seats all back in. I did just stick with the interior as it was because it does all sort of match. It does look pretty cool. Even left the original steering wheel on as well. Just got some plates to go and I have gone. There is a cool little plate pack that's just the law car plates. Basically the logos like dealer plates. So I'm going to go with them on these. I haven't even put any information on them. I've just left the bolt. Black and yellow. Oh, that's how I've left them. That's how they're going to stay. Let's just check and see if it's all complete. 100%. 100%. 100%. Let's get over to the paint shop and check out the livery I have made for this one today. I'm quite excited. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's probably not as good as I think it's going to be, but I'm hoping it looks awesome. Here she is then, uh, looking absolutely fantastic, I do think myself. Oh, well, of course, I'm going to say that I did spend over a week and a half making it. There's a few little details. Obviously, this is a metallic um purple and you can see just ghosted in there you've got the vm from my virtual mechanic logo but only ghosted in in between the stripes here not anywhere else you can see it on the trunk there but not on the, the tailgate obviously or the tailgate, whatever you want to call it the top of the trunk but not the edge of the trunk it does go over the hood or the roof there down into the bonnet but not in any of these bits along the side here in between they are completely bare but it is looking absolutely awesome. Then we've obviously got the gold detailing of the one stripe. Then this sort of bronzy copper orange stripe running alongside it. And then this even bigger faded gold stripe running around the edge of all of that. And then on the hood, just around the scoop hole, you've got an extra little piece there. Just for good measure, looking pretty awesome. I think you can see what I want to do with that engine. I want the head bit that's just poking up through. I want that to be in a very similar gold to this. And then the engine itself to be in this sort of purple, which hopefully will match the engine bay, being that the engine bay is matte, which is why I still have kept that other engine just to see how it looks. Because I haven't done anything with the color anywhere else. All I've checked in the test server is whether this livery works. And I just noticed something I really hate. Wow, I didn't realize this was all poking through like that. I should have checked that, but never mind. It's a bit late for that now. Is there anything on the trunk? No, the trunk is all right. What about inside the doors? little bit but that's just where it will wrap that's not too bad okay yeah I'm, I'm pleased with that after all of that the only bit i've messed up on is a little bit on the hood here and i wouldn't even call that messing up that bit in the middle doesn't look too bad just these edges i'm not even sure where them lines come from but never mind that's looking a pretty sweet and then as regard to the suspension we're just going to try and keep that metallic purple 
few splashes of gold and maybe even try and get that orange in there, but he is doubtful. Maybe we will see, but that is looking a pretty spectacular. I'm quite happy with that. I need to now test some paint on some metal parts, some engine parts, some suspension parts to see how good it looks because, well, I haven't checked it and that's my own fault. But that's because this livery literally took so long to make. I've not been very active this week because I've been making this. It took me forever but never mind it is looking sweet i'm very happy with it let's get this one back onto the lift let's get some stuff painted and let's start getting this all back together and hopefully get it all finished off and looking awesome so that's everything painted and yes i did swap the engine out to the chromed out version of the engine the uh two carb overhead valve one in instead of the single one you just saw the shock there looking a pretty sweet but let's get it in it to the car let's get all of this into the car so i've got the front cross member in that deep gold there, looking stunning. Very happy with that, looking great. On you go, let's get them bushings in. And now I need to back out just a little bit. A bit further than that would be nice, please. Let's try that again, there we go. The upper suspension arm also in that beautiful gold. On you go there, looking great. And then the lower arm as well, also in the gold. Looking fantastic. Now for the purple elements to come into this. So we got the shock absorber, obviously mostly in that purple with the gold spring on there, looking pretty cool. Sway bar end link will get you on just so I don't forget you later on. Got the hubcap. I've done that one in gold just because, again, it doesn't matter because it's going to get covered by the rim. And then the brake caliper also in that purple. That is looking fantastic. Not the same purple. This has got more of the metallic shine to it, whereas this is more of a flat color, um, which is what I was trying to avoid with that engine. That engine paints beautifully, but it is all flat colors and I didn't want it. I wanted it shiny. That's why I swapped it out. Has one side of the front done, and we need to move down the back. Let's use an exhaust to get there. Uh, let's get this main drive axle in there in the gold, looking lovely. On we go with the shock that is in purple, in that metallic purple again. The spring cap also in the purple with the spring, if I could click on it, in the gold, and then just its cap on top. Thank you very much, looking great. Then we got the solid control axle arm, or whatever you want to call that one, in the gold with the plates in the purple along with the u-bolts also in the purple looking a pretty smart golden purple theme is looking lovely i'll put the bushing in there otherwise i will forget it and i don't want to do that uh, then the rest of this stuff this all can't be painted sadly a bit of a shame i'd love to have had all of this gold as well would have looked absolutely fantastic in my opinion but let's get it all on let's get up to that brake caliper and get this rear end finished there we go. On you go. On you go. There. Looking pretty cool. Let's just hide that wheel a second. Lots of purple at the back here with more gold as well. Looking great. We do need to get our exhausts in. So I'm going to go down the front here. I'm going to get these pieces on. On you go. I've just leveled up again. That's nice. Uh, on you go as well. In you go there. In you go there. On you go in the middle muffler. Again, it's the wrong way around. I put it on backwards to make this specific thing work. On you go, on you go. That is half of it done. I'll crack on and get the other half done in a second. Let's just bring it back down because I want to show you my exhausts coming out the light holes. There we go. They don't pop out too far, just far enough that they look pretty cool. I like that. I think that looks absolutely great with the exhaust coming up through the trunk. I mean, don't get me wrong. You've got no real use out of this, but that looks so cool for a little custom element. Very, very pleased with that. I'm going to get on and get the other side all finished up. I need to get the car back in the air. Then we'll get that engine base sorted. And then we'll go and build that beautiful two-carb overhead valve engine, the one I've swapped it out to. I'll see you in a minute. There's all the suspension finished in that stunning purple and gold. Loving that. Large intercooler in. All the exhaust all the way through. And obviously you can see it poking up through the tail light holes at the back there. Looking pretty great. But we need to get this engine bay sorted out. So let's just get these reservoirs in. Oh, rolling all over the place today. In with the radiator on the Yugo. Fuse box base, I have done that one in a purple. It is like a matte purple like the rest of the engine bay, but it still looks pretty cool. And I haven't picked up my battery, so I do need to go and grab that because I'm an idiot. There we go. Let's grab you off of there. <laughs> Let's try that again. In we go. In with the battery. Looking sweet. That's the engine bay all finished. I just need to get this fuse box done, so I'll get that done. Next up, we're going to go build that beautiful engine. Here we are then with the engine bay all complete, looking fantastic. And that fuse box is a beautiful match color to the inside of this engine bay. Not the same as the bodywork, but definitely the same as the engine bay. Looking great. We do need to go and get that beautiful overhead valve engine built. Lovely V8 ready to go in this one. So let's crack on and do that. I'll see you in a moment. The engine block and the oil pan on there in that beautiful purple. Let's throw a few of these bits on. Let's just get everything under this timing cover in. 
So the cam gear and the timing chain, and then we've got that timing cover also in the purple, looking a very beautiful. Thank you for that. On you go. We get the fuel filter in and the ignition coil in as well. And let's just get that water pump on. It is just in silver. It wouldn't let me paint it, sadly. Crankshaft pulley in. We all know that one. And then I've done the power steering pump in the gold. Looking pretty suave there. And the alternator is obviously just in the alternator color. And the oil filter is in a purple. It's very much blacked out with purple text, though. I think that looks pretty sweet. We'll get the front end of this finished. And then we'll move on and get the engine heads on. On you go. Let's just get that fan on in a lovely gold. It is a bit darker than all the other gold, but it is what it is. The ignition distributor also in gold. The cap not painted, or the rotor not painted. And then the cap is black. I did try and match the gold, but because it's a plastic part, it just didn't work. But we did the clips in purple, just to accentuate the colours of this engine a little bit more. They are looking fantastic. But let's throw one of these heads on. They are obviously in gold, but it is only the inside that paints on these performance parts. Something I would love to change, but it's not the end of the world. We do have obviously all these valve push rods to go in and now it's not one bar for the rocker arms because I swapped the engine. It's all individual rocker arms, so I need to go and get that done along with all the spark plugs and this exhaust manifold. So I'm going to get this matched from the other side as well and get all of that done and I'll meet you back in just a second. That's all of the spark plugs in, the rocker arms and the valve push rods in all ready to go. Just let's get this intake manifold in in the purple looking beautiful very very happy with that and then because we swapped the engine we do only have the two four bower carburettors on this one rather than the a b and c or whichever the combination is on the 6p engine it is a little different but the two carbs look pretty sweet and uh, then we've got the gold air filter base the performance air filter and then the round air filter cover also in that gold that does poke through the engine at just or the hood just a little bit Let's get the engine head covers on. They are also in that gold with a lot of bolts on these, but not looking bad. They are looking fantastic. Very happy with them. Let's just get the other side done before we get these beautiful cables in. On you go. And then last but not least on this beautiful engine is these ignition wires or cables, whatever you want to call them. And that is it done. It is looking absolutely fantastic. I'm going to grab a couple of pictures and then we're going to get it dropped in the car. I'll see you in just a moment. Here we are then, all finished with our beautiful V8. Let's get it dropped into the cape and see how it looks. Hopefully looking pretty fantastic, but let's have a look. In you go. Let's get you put away. I don't even want to look. No. Okay, that is looking pretty sweet, actually. Very happy with that. I would like to get this car down a bit further, just so I can see a little bit lower. But let's get that hood closed. Yes, it's not quite the same gold. It is a very similar, but that is looking fantastic. And sadly, that cap or that head cover there is a little bit wider than on the 6P engine. So it doesn't quite fit as beautifully as the 6P does. That is a bit of a shame. Bit guarded about that, but let's get it in the air. We need to get this gearbox and a drive shaft in so we can get this car fully finished off and outside in the sun. The gearbox in that purple, because why not? It looks absolutely fantastic. I've done the starter just in the wonderful gold bit just a bit here and there and then we'll get that drive shaft in this is the first time you're actually going to properly see this my badly aligned drive shaft there it is and there it is i need to get some wheels made for this car you can see they're absolutely huge at the back not so big at the front but we need to get them in and get this car outside in the sun and all finished up i'll see you out there in just a moment hopefully it won't be long and hopefully this looks incredible when it's fully finished here we are then, all finished with my version of the Bolt Cape. And one thing I've noticed whilst doing the photos is really hard to show off this ghosting of the VM inside the photo locations. It's so hard to see it sometimes. But that was the whole point of it being ghosted. It isn't meant to be hard to see. There's also some on the roof there. Yeah, it's ghosted, so it isn't meant to be hard to see. But, I mean, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm so, so pleased with this. It looks great. I love that engine. And some of you uh, eagle-eyed people will have noticed that I didn't have a coolant reservoir in there. That doesn't look as full as it should be. But anyway, um, so when I went to drive the car, it let me start the car, but it wouldn't let me take it to the photo locations or anything like that. So I had to go in again and edit the config to get that coolant reservoir in properly. And I did also tweak this engine so that this particular engine does fit inside the scoop hole a little bit better still a little bit further back but i just wanted it to poking out the top ever so slightly to make that hood be useful i still think it looks absolutely fantastic we still got the exhaust coming through the tail lights i love that feature such a good custom little element 
I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I love these wheels, the huge 22s at the back with 20s at the front. We'll talk about them. I kept them with the rim cape because the rim cape looks quite cool. I painted them in a goldy color matching the stripes on the car. Don't pay attention to too much of the detailing in there. It isn't perfect work. It just looks good from afar. Anyway, so they are 20 inch rims at the front at 215 width with a 35 profile finished in that beautiful gold with the cape rims and then the rears i said they're already 22s these are 22 inch rims the rip the width is 345 with a 35 profile they barely just fit inside if i show you the outline literally if you add a tiny little bit of size they poke through the sides which is never good and these front ones are tucked in enough that you can still get a bit of turning angle before it cuts through the fender also just enough that they don't poke through the top here now i know my shock is a little bit out of placement you know my my double wishbone suspension is a little bit out of place but i still think it looks absolutely fantastic i'm so pleased with how this turned out let's jump in and see what this one sounds like on you go let's get you started quite a nice tick over there let's give it some gas very mean sounding at the top end. I wish it had a bit more of a grumble to it rather than just that high pitched acceleration, but it still sounds pretty sweet. But let's get it onto the dyno and see what horsepower we've added today. Here we are then on the dyno with our Bolt Cape Mark IV, the Virtual Mechanic Edition, with a swapped engine to the two carb overhead valve V8, 261 base horsepower on this one. How much have we added today? Let's have a look. And a gain of 241 horsepower, 93%. That's actually pretty good. I wasn't quite expecting that. Bringing our total up to 501 horsepower. And what does that relate to in speed? We'll go find out in a minute. But before that, let's have a look at our gearbox tuning setup for today. There it is. 2.35 ratio on this. Almost all of the first gear, 79 kilometers an hour. Up to 568 kilometers an hour in ninth gear. I don't think we'll be getting there. I reckon 300 to 400, somewhere around there will be a good sort of figure. Hopefully that'll be at least where we end up. But let's head over to the track and let's find out. Here we are then on the speed track with our 501 horsepower Bolt Cape Mark IV, the Virtual Mechanic Edition. Let's go and let's see what we can get out of this by the end of the track. I'm not expecting anything too special, but over 300 kilometers an hour is where I'll be aiming for. There we go. We've just gone past 200 kilometers an hour. Let's head up towards that 300. Hopefully we'll get there. We're only in fourth gear. We've got a little way to go yet. So come on. There it is. There's 300 kilometers an hour. Where are we going to finish up though? I said somewhere between three and 400, a very large spectrum. Are we going to get to 350? That would be my big goal. Come on. No, probably not. 345 kilometers an hour from the Bolt Cape Mark IV. Pretty impressive, not quite as good as I was hoping for. So there we have it, 345 kilometers an hour from the Bolt Cape Mark IV Virtual Mechanic Edition with all its quirky little details. 74th in the speederboard, which isn't actually too bad. I'm quite pleased with that. I definitely wanted a little bit more out of it, but I'm quite happy with 74th. Let's jump in to talk about some of this. I love this car, the little virtual... The VM logos, virtual mechanic logos, just ghosted into that paintwork. I really love how it's come out. It looks absolutely great. Now, I know that some of my lines aren't straight and aren't perfect. Well, I mean, they are straight, but because of the, the way it works, graphic design and stuff like that, it doesn't quite come out straight in this livery. This is the worst part here, this underlying one. Look how up and down and all over the shop it is. It wobbly as... But from afar, you can't tell. It just looks like a cool livery. I'm very, very pleased with it. I, I, I wouldn't change it. I love it. The only thing I would change is these little bits here. I kind of wish I'd got rid of them. I didn't even notice them before. Loving that engine. I love how it just sticks out. It's not the triple bug catcher that should be in there. Just a normal bit. Just a little bit poking out just to sort of show off. Look how cool my engine is. You can see some of the purples through there, some of the gold through there. It does look absolutely awesome. And then down to the back, the custom exhaust coming out where the tail lights should have been. Obviously, we do have other tail lights in the actual trunk itself. I really love that. I think it's turned out absolutely fantastic. And just the ghosting everywhere. I really do think this is beautiful. Will it win the competition? Well, you guys decide. Everyone on Discord gets a vote whether... Well, you don't have to vote, but you get a vote. You can use it. You can vote for the car you want. If you guys want this to win, there is still time. We have another day left to get all the votes in. 
This, today is Wednesday. This is the last day for the competition. Midnight UK time is the last time today. You can get your upload in. I will have got this uploaded yesterday for my entry. But there was still another 24 hours to vote after the competition finishes. So this could still win. We don't know. I don't even know yet because I haven't put it up yet. But it is looking absolutely fantastic. Let's talk some facts and figures. I bought the car from the auction house. It cost me 16682 I was 2401 away from profit minus straight away but since then i have spent 45,817 getting this car where it is today and that includes buying a whole new engine because we swapped that one out from the 6p that was originally in it because it wouldn't color well but it does look fantastic so our total spend is 62,499 but will we make a profit let's jump in and find out i really do love this car i'm not actually going to sell it i'm definitely keeping this but we still need to figure out if it would be worth a profit or not. So let's have a look. Obviously, you saw I got it all from the auction house. It is now 100% finished. And we have squeezed an additional 93% out of that engine. 501 horsepower is the new total. But is it worth a profit? Yes, quite a bit, actually. 106,156 is the sale price. Uh, against our 62,499, it leaves us a profit of 43,657. Well, it would leave us that profit if we were going to sell it, but we're not. So technically, I've lost 62,499, but I have gained this absolutely awesome car. I think this is great. I will definitely be keeping this. Sadly, you aren't quite cool enough to take the position of this. I just want one more outside parking space. Can we use the petrol pumps? Can we get this put into the game so we can park some cars there? Because I think that would look absolutely awesome in there. But sadly, for the time being, you will be put away in the parking. But for right now, you are just going to stay here. Looking absolutely fantastic. I love it. And it's the first time I've not put anything on the plates. I've just left black, blank plates with the Bolt logo on it. They're looking pretty cool. But we do have to see what we've got up next. So let's jump back inside and find out. Glad we're not selling you. You are awesome. But let's jump inside. This is a relatively new mod from Payne. This is the Ford Escort Mark One. RS 1600. This is the V8 edition, so obviously it's got a V8 double overhead cam AXK engine in there. I will maybe swap that one out to the supercharged. I'm undecided. There's definitely plenty of room for it under there. We shall see. This is definitely for next time, but this is a damn cool looking mod. I do love a Mark 1 Escort. They are so cool. We'll have to see what we do to it next time. So get your get your entries in to the Discord competition. You could end up on our lovely uh, pinboard wall. Like and subscribe to this uh, video and this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And most importantly, just come and join us on Discord. It's a lot of fun. You can get some help there if you need it. Some of the guys are a bit sarcastic. I will be honest. <laughs> Sometimes there's a few jokes that are a bit over people's heads. But it's just a good place. You can come in, you can show your work, regardless of the competition. There's a showcase where you can just post cool stuff that you've done and people will give comments on it and like it and stuff like that. Or there is the competitions. Get your Bolt Cape Mark IV in. By the end of today, you might not have enough time, but get a vote in to whichever one you think is the coolest. They are all in the competitions thread just down on the left-hand side. Click on that. Have a look through. Give a vote to whichever one is your favourite. Check out the Hall of Fame in there as well. See some of the previous winners. You've obviously seen them all on my pin board. But they do stay up there as well. Hopefully mine can win. Fingers crossed. Get in there and please vote for mine. It does look awesome. I'm so pleased with it. But that is going to be the it for today's video. I'm going to come back out here and end it because that car is absolutely stunning. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and didn't get sunburnt like I did. Please be careful in the sun. It is red hot in the UK at the moment. But thank you all so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.